Could your kitchen use a makeover? Have you been putting it off because of the enormity of the task or because you're not sure where to begin? Roll up those sleeves because I'm going to show you how we lightened up the look of this space. This is part one of a six week kitchen makeover that you can follow along with over on Instagram at The Created Home. Follow along to watch this space transform piece by piece and maybe pick up an idea or two along the way. Start by removing and labeling all of your hardware. We also removed the quarter round for painting, which I think is easier than leaving it in place. I created a key for each door and drawer and wrote the corresponding number where it could be seen after painting. Be sure to cover the numbers with painter's tape, of course. Now, there are conflicting opinions on this, but I'm a firm believer that the better the prep, the better the product. For that reason, I sanded every last door, drawer, and cabinet box. Was it fun? No, but it was absolutely worth it. Spoiler, check out that finish. Now, here's another reason to sand. Life, as in life happens to those cabinets. Finish wears, kids climb, and things get bumped into, a lot. Sanding smooths a lot of that over and makes for a much, much better finish than simply painting over it all. So put on some good music, get in the zone, and sand. To sand the boxes, we brought our shop vacuum inside and hooked it to an orbital sander. The vacuum does a pretty good job absorbing most of the dust. Your goal here is not to get clear down to bare wood, unless you want to, I guess, but to scuff up that finish enough to aid in paint adhesion. Now it's time for masking. You'll need to tape off everything that you don't want painted. That means the ceiling, the floor, the walls, the countertops, the appliances, your cat, everything. Plan to spend a good day or two on this step. We did not want to paint the insides of our boxes, so we taped that off as well. I've got a video on the website showing how we did this, if you'd like some more information. I've also included a list of masking supplies that we used, as well as links. Once your kitchen's wrapped up like a big present, it's time for the fun part, the painting. All of that prep really pays off here, and if you've done your job right, the spraying will go super fast. Spraying gives the best possible finish, bar none. For this job, we used our Flexio 4000 by Wagner. We also chose to spray the paint when we recently redid the window trim in our home, which you can check out on the blog. We like the Wagner sprayers because they're easy to use, easy to clean, and unlike a lot of smaller paint sprayers, the motor is separate from the spraying unit, so you don't have to lug it around while you're working. To create the best possible finish, we first sprayed on a primer coat using Sherwin-Williams Pro Block in an oil base. Now the reason that we used an oil base is because it creates a really smooth, good foundation for the paint that follows. It's a really, really thick paint, however, so we chose to use a rental sprayer first for the oil base and then switch to our Flexio sprayer afterward. Another reason for doing this is because it's just generally a good practice to keep oil and latex-based paints separate in uh, different sprayers. The actual spraying is a fast process that makes it worth all of that prep. After the primer coat, you'll need to sand lightly to smooth the finish and ensure that your paint coats are as flawless and professional as they can be. We then switched back to our Flexio sprayer and used Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel in Alabaster. Guys, this paint goes on like a dream. The combination of using a sprayer and a quality paint resulted in a simply gorgeous finish. And though the video is obviously sped up, you can hopefully tell that it was a simple, quick process. We ended up spraying three coats on the kitchen, though two would have been just fine. The doors were sprayed in a separate location and we sprayed them once with primer and then twice each side with paint. The entire process came to about two days for sanding, another three days for prep, though to be fair we belatedly decided to replace all of our crown molding, and three days for painting, including drawers and doors. We love how the paint instantly transformed our kitchen. The day after finishing paint, we had quartz countertops installed and the result of the work so far is our first mini reveal. I hope this tutorial was helpful and gives you the courage to tackle your own cabinetry. With a little hard work, a good sprayer, and some quality paint, you can transform the look of your kitchen. And it will be a look that will last for a long time. Believe it or not, there are still five weeks to go in this renovation. 
Follow along on Facebook and Instagram at The Created Home and at www.thecreatedhome.com.